Um, well, hello everyone. Thanks for coming along today. Um, it's great to see you. I think hi. There will be people appearing as um, as we as sort of carry on. Um, so I'll start off with the boring stuff. Um, just uh, while we wait for a few more people, but. Um, so toilets are upstairs, I think some of you might find them. There is a disabled toilet downstairs as well, but if you go out to the reception and then up the staircase and then down the corridor, you'll see them. No fire alarm expected today. Um, but we were meant to have one earlier, but we didn't, so um, hopefully they won't just have a random one. Um, as I think some of you know, we're hoping to stream as much of this as possible, um, and we were hoping to have a remote participation. So just a kind request for you people not to download stuff, um, or, you know, don't watch loads of YouTube videos during the day. Maybe don't watch the remote participation, if you're actually here. That would be really, really helpful, just because we've got Wi-Fi, but as people know, you know, it's the, the more of us that are sort of banging on it, the sort of it's going to be more, it's going to affect um, how we upload stuff. Um, I mentioned the water outside. Do, if you need a drink or anything, do just feel free to, to go out and get some and then help yourself to tea and coffee during the, the day. Okay, so this, this workshop, Making It Matter, Supporting Education in the Developing World Through Open and Linked Data. And I had to have that up there because there was nowhere I could remember all of that. But I mean, some, we wanted to get some really key terms in there. So we wanted to make sure that we were talking about education because that's very much what we're focusing on. Um, the developing world, because that's the area we're looking at, and then open and linked data. And, and it's trying to collect, connect together lots of different kind of areas. So hopefully throughout the day, we'll start to see those synergies and those links between those different areas. <clears throat> so today has been made possible by the Commonwealth of Learning and the Linked Up Project. Um, unfortunately, we don't have anyone here from the Commonwealth of Learning. I'll tell you more in a minute why. Um, but they've been very supportive of this event and we're having a lot of conversation with them um, about this area um, and so they're a really key player in this area. Um, and also the Linked Up project and you'll hear a little bit more about the Linked Up project in uh, a few minutes from Stefan. So please do, do look up those two um, projects. Uh, a couple of people are here today, some of them aren't actually physically here yet but hopefully you'll see them at some point or other. Um, so I'm from the Linked Up project and there's a few of my team here, I think quite a few of them sat over the table there. So we have Ale um, Alexandro, who sat on this table here. We've got Mathieu at the back. Um, we have Stefan, who'll be talking in a little bit. Um, Elisabetta, who's talking later, and Ivana as well. So do, if you want to talk about the Linked Up project, and I think there's some flies on your table, do, do you find them? Um, from, uh, from Open Knowledge, we have a few people here. I have myself. We have Sally, who's at the back there, just turned up. Um, Daniela, who'll be talking later but isn't physically here at the moment, and Sandra, who's coming later as well. And also we have Emma, who's been really kind and helped me with the organisation. As, and as I mentioned, unfortunately, Baladji can't join us. He actually had some problems with getting a visa to come over here. So I think, I mean, that already highlights an interesting mm -hmm. challenge that, you know, we have in working with different countries. So, um, but luckily, he's managed to do a, a great presentation for us. Um, so just a little bit about Open Knowledge. Um, we are a community-based not-for-profit, um, and we have projects and partnerships throughout the world. I think we have... Um, now, as ambassadors in over 40 different countries, we have a number of different chapters, and, and our first outside of Europe, which is in Brazil, and we're really very global, we have a very global reach. Um, and we do lots of different things, so we build tools, we do a lot of technology and support the building of tools, um, but also very much community building. We have lots of different um, working groups and local groups that we support in, in all different areas related to OPAN, OPEN, and we, we are very much keen to support people using, sharing and building on open resources. Um, and we have this idea of an open knowledge commons and uh, yeah, we're, we're sort of interested in any conversations around that. And just we're into collaboration and not control and environment um, empowerment, not exploitation and open, not closed. And there's some really interesting conversations to be had around that and hopefully we will have more of those today. Um, just a quick glimpse of our new website. We're going through a branding change, um, so I think it's really great that we've got a site up there. We're looking very smart, and we're now open knowledge and not what we used to be called before, and I've just about cracked it now, so uh, <laughs> you won't hear me say the other name now. Um, so, some context for today. Um, I think this is, this is quite an interesting snippet from the ITU, just about the number of people who are coming to the internet now. Um, we've almost reached three billion people, but two thirds of those billion people are from the developing world. Um, so this is, you know, there's a changing audience that's out there. 78% um, are in developed countries, and th um, so 32% in, in sorry, 78% are in developed countries, and 32% in developing countries. 
But I think, you know, it's the mix-up is really, really changing. And I think this is something that we need to sort of bear in mind. And this can really have um, sort of, when we're thinking about our impact and the things that we do. Um, so in the last sort of year, I've been working on the Linked Up project and on the Open Education Working Group. I've come across a lot of projects that touch on um, collaboration with the developing world or creating things for the de developing world. So you can see here some of the, the really exciting projects that have come up. So people may be familiar with the hole in the wall idea of having a classroom where children can come along and use internet technology um, and just sort of learn through self-motivated learning. Um, Organisations like TESS India creating open educational resources for um, the global south, um, our OER for development, um, OER Research Hub are doing some really interesting things around OER uh, reuse, UNESCO are doing some amazing stuff, um, Sia Vula who are creating online open textbooks and, and lots of really interesting activity going on there. Again, OER Africa and also Wikipedia doing some interesting activity. And then things like the BRIC project as well, which is around... Um, sort of an infrastructure and ensuring that people have um, adequate access to things like broadband in different places. So there's, there's loads and loads of amazing projects that are going on there, out there in the, this space. So it might beg the question, well, what's it got to do with the Linked Up project then? You know, people are already doing this stuff. And I think if I go back to that idea about the changing audience, I think it's that the landscape is changing and the new users of the internet are different people from those we were familiar with before. Um, they are quite often disabled, so there's a lot of stuff around accessibility now. They're disadvantaged and disconnected, from, and it's really key that we engage with these people. So within our project, we suddenly realised this is something we really wanted to do. This is where impact could be made. Um, we had a, a workshop in St Petersburg a um, couple of months ago when we talked about sort of open data and education, and I think one comment, I think it's actually from Stefan, he said something about users don't care about technology and technologists don't care about use cases, and, and we felt like there was this real disconnect between the two groups of people and we wanted to bring those people together. We wanted people to come together who know about the problem and people who know about possibly the solutions to those problems. Um, and famous Tim Berners-Lee quote about the web does not connect just machines, it connects people. So we felt that this was a real opportunity to bring those different people together. Um, and hopefully today is just the start of a discussion around this. Um, so I just wonder, does anybody know who either of these people are? Does anybody recognise them? Yeah, the guys that um, built the sort of the wind engine. Mm -hmm. What's his name? I read the book recently. But okay. I yeah, I think it's a boy who harnessed the wind. The wind. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Does anybody know the other guy? No. Okay, right. Well, the first guy is William um, Camp Wamba from Malawi, and yeah, he built a windmill to power electronic um, appliances in his house. They had a, a lot of problems with energy there, um, and he went and self-taught himself to build this, and then he became a sort of major superstar in a famous TED talk around this, um, and travelled the world and, and started doing some really exciting stuff around hacker events. And yeah, so he, he's a bit of a celebrity. And Kelvin Dope, he's from Sierra Leone, and he was, I think, about 10 years old, and he taught himself how to um, do engineering, and he, he built a railway um, a radio station. Um, these guys were self-taught. They talk about going to the library and finding books and their, their attempts to access the type of information. Um, so these guys, did, you know, afterwards, their exciting tales were shared a lot on the internet, and they have pages about them in Wikipedia. Um, they could have done with more open source, open access stuff to help them do this. And I think, you know, I want to think about the extraordinary becoming the ordinary, helping people to do this. So this guy at the bottom here, um, Kunle Anjano, he's actually gone and accessed MIT courseware, and he's downloaded it on CD-ROMs, and now he's broadcasting it on the radio, and he's teaching himself how to do stuff. So I think it's thinking about how can we support people to do these amazing things, so that they're, you know, that, that people are doing it all the time. It doesn't have to be necessarily a Wikipedia entry to do that. Okay, so the programme for today. Um, so we're going to start off with, obviously, my, my introduction, and then an introduction to the Linked Up project from Stefan. Um, then we're going to have a talk from Balaji, um, which is by video, because unfortunately he can be here. But later on, hopefully, he'll be on a Google Hangout if you want to ask him some questions. But at the moment, I think it's the middle of the night in Canada. So, um, yeah, we'll talk to him later. Um, then we have a talk from Stephen, who I think has just turned up, which is going to be talking about mobile data, which should be really interesting. And then a talk from Tom, sort of pulling together some of these different elements. And that's kind of having a bit of an overview of where we're going today. 
Then we're going to be doing some breakout sessions, which is really the, the crux of the day, where hopefully we can come up with some sort of interesting ideas around um, sort of where the problems are and how we can take those problems forward. Um, then we'll be looking at some more case studies of people who are actually doing some amazing work in this space. So we'll be watching a video um, from the guys from Worldwide um, Semantic Web, and then we'll be hearing a talk from one laptop per child from Christoph. And then it will be lunchtime. So we can all look forward to that. And we're allowed to use the outside space, so we can all go and have a bit of sun, which would be fantastic. Um, and then in the afternoon, we have a, a presentation on some work that the Open Knowledge is doing around partnership for open data. Um, more um, breakout groups, and then also to look at some of the tools that have been created as part of the Linked Up project. So um, we really want to make the, the competitions within the Linked Up project a way to answer some of these questions that are out there. And then um, another group activity, and we'll finish off with just a quick uh, presentation on the Open Education Working Group. And then we go to the pub, hopefully. <laughs> um, and it's a lovely day, so we really hope to see as many of you as possible. And we'll, uh, we're, we've booked a table for later for dinner, and if anybody would like to come, please do let us know. So I think that is it for me for now, and Stefan is going to talk.